Hey guys, what's happening? So, in my lathe conversion, I uh, kind of made a mistake in my calculation and uh, I needed a longer ball screw. But the problem is, I had already cut off, you know, shaped this one into shape for my uh, project. And now I gotta remove it from this one to that one. I thought I'd show you how I do it, you know, move ball screws. Um, so, the main thing, the most important thing is you need to have something to support the, the, the balls because if you just unscrew this thing off, the little ball bearings will go everywhere and they're a nightmare to get back in there. Uh, I've done it once before and it was... Uh, but yeah, so you need something that's pretty close to the diameter of the of the shaft. Not not the small shaft, but the big shaft, obviously. And I, I'm just using some clear tube here. And let me show you that real fast. I'll have to get my tripod. Alright, so since I don't want to recut and shape that thing again, I said I'm just going to move, move it over to the other shaft. So you just got to screw it out like that. In the frame. Yeah, you, just, you need something to support the bearings, and it should just come right off of there. Alright. Okay. I'm going to take that off. Watch, I guess I could maybe just... Uh, yeah, I'll take it off. Okay. Then I'm going to go this, flip this around. Like this. I guess I think for this one. Actually, that doesn't slip off, though. <laughs> Yeah, it's, a, it's such a nightmare when these things come off. Alright. Okay. Make sure, the, make sure the tube doesn't come off until the whole thing comes off. Okay. Okay, now it's off. Now. It, just screw it back on. Right, so that's on. Take this one off. Go back. And sure. Yeah, this is just a clear piece of hose. You could probably get this at a hardware store or a Home Depot or something like that. Um, but the main thing is that you want the outside diameter of this hose to be very similar to that that diameter right there, um, like where the where the ball comes out, right? Like the smallest portion of the of the diameter of the bar. You see, it's very very close, right there. This is like a, like a perfect fit. And this is actually something I had laying around in the garage. It's for it was for like a, like a not like grease ground, but like a, like a suction thing. But all right, that's it. So now I'm ready to move forward. All right, cool.